Well, after a summer of cleaning out Oak Creek Canyon, six dedicated volunteers with the Oak Creek Ambassadors Program have been working to prevent dangerous E. coli levels in the Red Rocks. Now, their work was sponsored in part by the EPA and the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality. Volunteers hauled 478 pounds of waste and 268 diapers in the process of cleaning out Oak Creek. They spoke to over 8,000 visitors and tried to prevent future waste and littering in the canyon. That totaled up to 4,000 hours of outreach education among the six volunteers. According to Dalton Zanetti, the Oak Creek Watershed Operations Assistant, these cleanups are critical to healthy ecosystems in the shadow of Sedona's towering red rocks. Trash, recycling, and human waste, he says, can pose serious water quality issues that affect not only wildlife, but recreationists and communities near the river. While bringing a new perspective on wildfires to northern Arizona, artists have been collaborating with fire scientists to forge a new exhibit at Coconino Center for the Arts. The new Fires of Change exhibit features unique interpretations of fire-affected landscapes. Fires of Change is a special type of event where 11 artists show the importance of fire through their art. In order for these artists to exhibit their art, they had to take a week-long fire science boot camp in the forest of northern Arizona. Translating social and ecological issues into impactful art for the exhibition began with an immersive week-long fire science boot camp that all of the involved artists attended. With newfound knowledge of the benefits of low-intensity blazes, some artists were inspired to celebrate the positive change that fires can cause in their work. Tragedy and loss from devastating crown fires brought pieces like this tribute to the Yarnell 19 to fruition. Others, like the Ashes to Ashes sketch series, were drawn from ashes of fires like the Rodier Chedesky. This exhibit took more than two years to curate. Sean Scabellan told us that he thinks of it as a community project, a project that can be enjoyed until October 31st. For NAC Today, Yesenia de Garcia.